Look what I have here. This is the rotor of a turbomolecular pump. A turbomolecular pump is a specialized type of vacuum pump used to achieve high vacuum. This rotor spins at 90,000 revolutions per minute, which is 1,500 revolutions per second. To ensure the rotor doesn't self-destruct at these speeds, it must be very finely balanced. On the top, sides and the bottom of the rotor, you can see small threaded holes. These are where small screws are inserted to balance the rotor. The rotor is likely from a Pfeiffer Hi-Pace 80, but I'm not completely certain. In newer models, such as the Hi-Pace 80 Neo, this process is no longer accomplished with screws, but rather using a laser. As the rotor spins, the imbalance is measured and material is precisely removed with a laser until the rotor is perfectly balanced. But where did I get it from? A few days ago I was invited to the Pfeiffer Vacuum headquarters. I was given a tour of the production area where the pumps are built and I was shown the Pfeiffer Academy where participants learn about vacuum technology and the maintenance of Pfeiffer products. And when no one was looking I quickly grabbed Of course I am joking, I actually just asked and to my surprise I was handed a retired rotor and I'm going to turn it into the coolest table decoration ever. I always wanted to build this but I was missing the rotor. I first went to the hardware store to buy some wood. I then printed out some templates, glued them to the wood and cut the wood accordingly. To make a box out of it, I laid out two strips of adhesive tape and placed the individual pieces on them. Then I could simply fold the walls up and secure them with more tape. After the glue dried, I sanded the box a bit and then stained it. Once the stain dried, I coated the wood with Rubio Mono Coat. I would have liked to make the base out of aluminum, but unfortunately I lack the necessary machines. Besides, I need to work on my woodworking skills a bit. My plan is to slowly rotate the rotor while it's on the table. For this I will use a stepper motor, as it is the quietest option I found. A servo motor and a DC motor were both much louder. So I fired up my 3D printer and crafted a part designed to securely hold the stepper motor using threaded inserts. The stepper motor driver is controlled by an Arduino Nano. I purchased small ball bearings that fit onto the shaft of the rotor. The ball bearing was then securely attached to the 3D printed part using a two-part epoxy. This part was then secured within the wooden base and the remaining electronics were soldered. And there it is, ready to go. The rotor can now be placed on the base. The motor operates so quietly that it is practically inaudible. This has to be the coolest table decoration out there, even giving my x-ray tube a run for its money. If I were rich, I would definitely have a rotor this size in my living room. A huge thank you once again to Pfeiffer Vacuum for an amazing and insightful day and of course for the rotor. And thank you all for watching. If you would like to support me and my projects, you can become a Patreon. The link can be found in the video description. I would greatly appreciate it.